So this is the final candle of the day to test, um, to do a burn test on. And as you can see, for this one, this was the first one that I poured. It has way too much wax at the top. So uh, <laughs> I now know that that level, that measurement, the calculation that I did for, to get this much is too much. So um, thanks for me doing this one first, I now know for the other ones exactly where I want the, the wax to go. But we are going to test it nevertheless, and we are going to see. This is the Coastal Comfort Candle, and the Premier Wick I'm using is 765. So I am going to grab my lighter here. So let's go ahead and light this. Okay, and we are going to get the testing started. This is hour three. I wanted to let the candle just work a little bit more. So I can definitely smell the scent from the candle. So the hot throw is doing pretty good. Um, the wick is also doing pretty good. This is the Premier 675. There is... Let's see, there is no mushrooming on top. Um, the melt pool is trying to reach the edge, but it's pretty similar to the other candle, the winter candle from yesterday. Um, I'm thinking that all these that have these two wicks are going to kind of perform the same. So we'll see. We have one more hour to go before the burn test is over but the hot throw is good it's filling up the room the jar is holding up well let's see the touch it is hot at the top of course um it's still kind of like room temperature at the bottom um the temperature before when i measured it was I'm sorry, when I took it, the temperature was 98, and that was in the second hour. So in the fourth hour, we're going to do the temperature again to see where it goes. But yeah, sorry about the horn, <laughs> but yeah, it is coming along. All right, we're in the fourth and final hour of the burn test for Coastal Comfort. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. Um, it is 8 o'clock in the morning, and I am starting the final two candles that need their first burn test. Um, today, we are doing the Island um, candle, and we are doing Mahogany Nights candle, so it's going to smell pretty good throughout the day um, today. But I've already wicked, I've already trimmed the wick of my candle here, and I'm just going to light it and get it started. It is going to burn for uh, four hours today. And the Premier wick we're using for this one is the 770. And I have a feeling it's going to perform like the other ones that also have the 770. But yeah, let's just light this. Come on. There we go. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to test for um, any cracks in the jar, any overheatness of the jar. Um, we're going to check for the melt pool, how the wick performs, how the hot throw performs, and um, a couple of other things I'm going to check for as well. Um, and also the temperature. But this is the start. 
and already the flame is starting off quite nicely and steadily so we are going to check in a little later and see how well the candle has performed okay i am back and it is the third hour of the four hour burn um i wanted to give it some time before i gave an update so i checked the temperature after the last hour and it was 92 degrees so that's really good um as you can see the melt pool has of course started to spread and there is not much mushrooming on the wick there so that's pretty good it's not over mushroomed um as far as the jar goes it's not really that hot so i could still keep my hand on there for a period of time um even at the top and this is the 770 yeah the melt pool has started um the flame is going steady it has gotten a little bit higher from when it first started which is expected because now it's burning down the wick and the scent the hot throw itself is actually coming through the the candle and into the room it's filling up the room it smells really really good um <laughs> very relaxing scent I like this. This is one of my favorites. I made a candle with this fragrance oil before. This is from Black Tie Barn. And um, I just love the scent. So I knew it had to be one of my candles in my collection. All right, I am back again. It is now the final hour. It is close to the end of the fourth hour of burning. And as you can see, there has been some more mushrooming forming on the top of the wick. The wax has started to reach the edges of the vessel. And when I pick up the container, it is actually not like extremely hot to the touch. Um, I am going to test, I have my temperature gun here. I am going to go ahead and test the temperature And it is 119.8. It is still under the 40 mark. I'm sorry, the 140 mark that I put for my candles. Um, the hot throw is still going strong. It's still filling up the room. I like it. It smells really, really, really good. I enjoy this scent so much. Um, I'll continue to burn it out for the rest of the fourth hour and then a little around probably around three or four o'clock today I will finally test the mahogany nights um, candle okay I'm back with the final candle to be tested today this one is my absolute favorite this is mahogany nights and the premier wick that we're using, well, that I'm using, is the 765 in this one. So let's light it up. Okay, it's all lit. And I will be back a little later to see how this candle performs with this wick. All right, I am back. And this is the fourth hour of burning mahogany nights um it has about a half an hour to go but i wanted you all to see what happened within the three hours that it has been burning well three and a half now um there is some tiny mushrooming on the wick there the flame is dancing a lot though and I don't know if it's due to the air that's in my room because, yes, I do have the air conditioner on because it is a heat wave and the fan just wasn't working for me. But um, the melt pool has reached the sides, but there is some buildup on the edges, as you can see there. The flame is a little higher than when it first started. The jar is not 
um, hot to the touch so I can pick it up still without getting like third degree burn or anything <laughs> so that's always a good thing but I am a little worried about all the flickering that's going on. I'm going to go ahead and let this burn for the remainder of the half hour and then blow it out and this will be the end of the first burns for the set of candles that I'm currently testing. There is six in total that I'm testing and um, I will start the next couple of weeks will be the upcoming burns until I get down to the bottom of the candle. All right, so that was a little peek into how I test my candles. Um, I am doing a couple of things different as opposed to the first time I tested my first collection. Um, so I am gonna start recording how the candles perform, which is something that I read before to do, but I just didn't do it. And I'm going to keep it more structured. Um, I do have points on my sheet now of what I should look for as just the basic things that could fail a candle instantly, make a candle fail instantly. So I'm going to be doing that on top of the things that I learned to test for. But that is a process that I do. I burn every candle for four hours straight and then I do a couple of them, four hour burns, and then I do one power burn, which is an eight hour. I don't do a 12 hour or um, I'm not doing the 12 hour anymore like I did with the first collection. I wanna see the process at eight hours now. So that is how I test my candles. What works against me is that I am a perfectionist, so if something doesn't sit well with me, I always feel like it won't sit well with others. And that's something that I really, really, really want to work on correcting. So um, this go around, I won't be as much of a perfectionist when it comes to testing. I am going to simply test for the standard stuff that I normally test for. And if the candle passes all of those all the way down to its life expectancy, then I know that I have a good functioning candle. Now, I really do like the way the Premier Wicks work. They work completely different from the CDNs and the CDs that um, I first tested with and even the Egos that I first tested out with. Um, because I, when I first started, I started off with HTP, HTP, yeah, HTP, and I started off with Eco wicks, and then I moved on to CDs to see if they work with the mason jars. And then finally, once I knew that they worked with the mason jars, I wanted it to be less hot and um, less mushrooming at the top. So I moved on to CDNs, which is the cousins basically of CD wicks, and I finalized it there. But with the Premier wicks, I'm noticing there's not as much mushrooming on these. Um, the jar, the container is not as hot. Um, but I have to see when it gets like to the midpoint on that one. But I like that it burns a little cleaner. The flames are a little bit um, tamer. Uh, it just, all around, I'm liking the way the Premier Wicks perform. It looks like the Premier Wicks are going to stay. I just probably might have to tweak to see them at a little bit higher or a little bit lower. It depends on how the remaining burns go for me. But um, yeah, I'm going to continue to test them until there is completely little to no wax left in the container. All right, so that was it for today's video. I am going to continue the process and um, I'm gonna try and keep you updated as much as I can on Instagram. Um, probably towards the halfway mark of the candles, I'll do another one of these videos and just show a quick run through of each day of me burning them and you seeing how they are working at the midpoint. But I want to kind of test and test and test. So starting tomorrow, 
I'm going to go right back to it, right back to the rotation, um, two at a time, one in the morning, one in the in the afternoon, and I'm going to um, continue burning the candle down and testing it. I'm also going to work on the reed diffusers. Um, I ran into a little bit of an issue with them. So the issue is um, one of them is starting to evaporate a lot quicker than expected. So I'm just going to need to do, um, I need to do research on that and figure out why and how, why that happens basically. Why that happens and how I can um, work with it. And then with the room sprays, um, I have a small, like a tiny issue with the room sprays. Um, as far as the base that I use goes. So I'm going to go ahead and um, correct the room sprays, figure out the labels, figure out the pricing, figure out everything just like I did with my comfort collection and get them ready for their debuts. I've talked long enough. That was it for this video. If you like this video, you'd like to see more of these types of videos, then hit that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified when the next new video comes out. You can follow me on Instagram. All my links are in the description down below. My Etsy shop is also in the description down below. Um, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your week and don't forget to show yourself, as always, a little more appreciation. So until then, this is Tammy saying, take care, everyone.